Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's do the exercises at the end of chapter two together. Use the cd command to go to the folder you would like to store datasets and log files. First question is about the formats for numeric data. The most commonly used format is the fixed format. The number will be displayed with five digits after the decimal point. E is the scientific notation for long numbers. G means general format. The minus sign means the right justification is replaced by the left justification. For exercise 2, first we use input command to read the names and the data into data, then list the result. If we have a comma separated values file, we can use the inship command to read this file into data. Then we drop the first line of names in the CSV file and read the data by using inship with variable names assigned. If we have a text file without commas, then we can use the infix command to read the data into data. For exercise 3, please download the dataset below this video and then open it. Rename a variable as the marital status. Give the variable a label and then tabulate it. There are seven categories of the variable. We replace the last two categories as missing values. Then we use label defined command to give each value labels. Label define and label values commands are used together. We use tabulate to take a look at the categorical variable marital status. Now each value is replaced by its value label. You can use the option no label to show the value. Now we create a binary indicator variable or dummy variable from categorical variable using recode command. Next, we summarize unnames by marital status using by sort. Another method is to use tabstat and the option by. They give the same descriptive statistics of earnings. We use tabulate with the option generate to create dummy variables for each category of a categorical variable. This is the summary of the inter 
interaction terms between the marital status and unnames. Here the pawn operator is used to create interaction terms. The i operator is applied to a categorical variable and the c operator is for a continuous variable. In exercise 4, we are asked to create a box and whisker plot of unnames. You may want to use the no outliers option. With the option over, we can take a look at the box plot for each year of education. We create a histogram for unnames. And a histogram for a certain range of unnames. The unnames in levels are right skewed. We use graph two way to draw a graph with multiple curves. It includes a scatter plot, a linear OLS fit, a locally weighted scatter plot smoothing, and a local linear curve. We add the title of the graph, the X axis title, the X label, the Y title. The Y scale title gap option is to increase the gap between the Y axis title and the Y labels. The legend option is to indicate the position and the format of the legend. Finally, we can use the graph export to save the graph in PNG file.